guys, we have genuinely, truly hit rock bottom in figure skating. Like, what we witnessed was I needed a day to process it. And the day I saw it, I just couldn't concentrate. It was, it felt like a tragic Shakespearean ending. Like, it truly felt like horrible. Like, I don't know what we just saw. It was insane. And my plan was to make an entire video for all the individual events, like I did for the team event. But this deserves a video of its own because what we just witnessed was traumatic for us, but it was the trauma response of three girls who realized that the adults around them do not give a shit about them. They are simply a means to an end. And we saw them all unravel all three of them. But you know what, let's just cover the basics first before we get into the cesspit that is Team Tutperitze and how their actions will affect these girls for the rest of their life. So before we jump into all that, let's talk about the other competitors. Karen Chen ended up in 16th place. She had a pretty bad fall on the short and the free wasn't enough to make it up. However, if we're being honest, it was never going to be enough to make it up for her to even get near the podium because this is just such a deep field and so much tough competition was around. However, I did feel like she had her moment, her Olympic moment in the team event where she's walking away with a silver team medal, which could possibly turn into a gold. We don't know, the investigation's still not over. Okay, then Mariah Bell ended up in 10th place and she also had a fall on her short. Her free was not perfect, but much like Karen's, her skills, regardless of whether they would have been clean or not, were not gonna make up for the mistake in the short. They just don't have enough technical elements to compete with the Russians and the Japanese. And I honestly feel like Mariah did her job at this Olympics. She was a good representative of her country. She performed well enough. She went on the Ellen show. She did all the media press and she gave Adam Ripon a platform and a reason to be there, which is honestly the main way she got attention at this Olympics. So it was a pretty good Olympic experience for Mariah Bell considering others' experiences were devastating. In ninth place, we had Yelin Kim from Korea, which honestly is kind of about where I saw her placing. Regardless of anybody else's performance, I saw her around ninth or eighth place. So I would say she had a really good Olympics as well. Luna Hendricks ended up in eighth place. She had a touchdown during one of her short jumps and I feel like she was a lot of people's fan favorites and I honestly thought she was going to do maybe a little bit better and be a little bit closer to the Japanese and the Russians but regardless she'd still be super proud of herself for doing so well this season exceeding expectations even her own and becoming a genuine fan favorite and a representation for women in skating. In seventh place we had Alyssa Liu who the more I look at her and her lives I'm just really happy that she seems happy especially happy early than she was before. Not to mention that I think Alyssa Lee really did well in her Olympic debut, especially when you compare it to her Nationals performance. It's like a world's difference. Her National performance, where she could only perform the short because she had to withdraw due to COVID, it didn't really set her up for this Olympics. So I'm really impressed with how fast she was able to turn it around. She did land her triple axle. However, it was downgraded, but still she landed it. Considering everything else, I think this was a good way to end the season. I just really hope hope that for the rest of her competitions, she can just focus on having stability and enjoyment in the sport. That's what I hope for Alyssa Liu. In sixth place, we have Young Yu from Korea, whose main skill is also the triple axel, and she landed it, but I believe it was also downgraded. Regardless, I do believe Young Yu ended up in a great spot. I mean, this was basically a win for anyone who wasn't from Japan or Russia. She landed right behind the most formidable skaters in all of the competitions, so I think she would probably take that as a win. In fifth place, we had Waka Higuchi, who I believe is the only lady at this entire competition who did not have her triple axel downgraded, just telling the girls how it is done, showing the girls how it is done, and yet she was severely underscored, while the Russians of course remain overscored. Even Valieva, who had a step out and a rough triple axel in the short, was still graded better than Wakaba, so like, Wakaba was not giving the cushion that the Russians were given, and I feel like Wakaba did two amazing performances but she simply does not get the help from the judges. Regardless, I think Wakaba is very proud of herself. She was very happy, especially for her teammate, and I think that they did Japan proud. I think her and Kaori definitely were the light of this competition, the much needed light of this competition. So here we go. 
in fourth place, shockingly, we have Camila Valieva. Yes, you heard me right. Camila Valieva, the favorite to win this event since the moment she turned 15 and became a senior, who then became the biggest polarizing topic at the Olympics due to a positive drug test, yet was incredibly, unbelievably allowed to compete regardless of that, ended up in fourth place right off the podium this is shocking this is insane like i don't understand you understand how like i literally said it in my own i need to stop talking every time i say something i manifest it into existence <laughs> like what the fuck i literally said something catastrophic would need to happen for valieva not to end up the podium like nobody expected this and catastrophic doesn't even freaking begin to cover how this specific free ended like it was shocking and the fact that she was not on, even on the podium, like uh, nobody predicted that. Maybe some people predicted second or third, but nobody predicted her off the podium. And when I say nobody, I truly mean nobody. I even asked my patrons like if Camila was gonna win, and the overwhelming response was like, "Yes, she's gonna win, but she'll eventually be stripped of her medals and titles afterwards." Which <laughs> reminder that might still happen. Like she might have just lost, and then will later on be stripped of her medals and titles due to the end of the investigation. Which I'm hoping the investigation will not just only uncover stuff with doping but uncover more stuff about Team Tutparice that will actually lead to some sort of reform or punishment because that camp cannot be trusted. It just, they can't. They can't, they can't. And the fact that they're a monopoly at this level where they were expected to have a sweep at the Olympics is so toxic, catastrophic, and bad for the sport that I can't even get into it right now. Camila did not have a clean short. She stepped out of the triple axle, which honestly wasn't that shocking considering we have seen her struggle with that jump the most but in the end she was still in the lead after the short everything was going according to plan because she is the favorite she was in the lead it seemed like a secure win or at least a secure podium which was why everybody was talking about the fact if she was on the podium there was no medals or medal ceremony that was going to be given so everybody was pissed about that so she was damned if she did damn if she didn't and we thought it was going to be unavoidable for her to be on the podium and then this free skate is probably the worst performance i've ever seen by Lieva give and it's not i'm not surprised because this girl has had probably the worst stress of her life first she was forced to do both the short and the free in the team event which i still don't understand why they didn't put trusova or even sherbakova in the free like they still would have been safely in first place and safely in the lead for the ladies event in the team event so she was overworked there then she had all this mess with the positive drug test which honestly still stand by the fact that she shouldn't even be skating in the first place like the irreparable harm that they were trying to alleviate her from i think we just saw a harm happened right in front of her eyes because she wasn't on the podium this is even worse all that battle all that mess to get her to skate and now she's not even on the podium and sure she's gonna go back to russia a hero the way they have rallied behind camila valieva is insane she's probably the biggest star that team to has right now regardless of her competitive success at these olympics however this damage that she was done to herself like you could see her every time she fell she was genuinely trying she was just losing morale fall after fall every second still fighting still trying but still falling it was debilitating to see the look on her face you could see the heartbreak in her eyes for all those people who are saying that maybe she was told to lose to like sacrifice herself to save team tutperit and the whole investigation thing stop it there is no way that that child who was crying bawling her eyes out the way she even threw her hand in the air out of frustration right after she finished the performance you can tell she was trying with all all her heart and still it wasn't enough which makes it all the more sad and heartbreaking to see this girl just break down after being put by the ringer because every adult in her life has failed her they didn't keep her out of the ring of fire and then as soon as she gets off the ice a terry has the audacity to tell her why did you give up why did you not land that jump like there was no sense of reassurance there was no sense of you did your best it's okay no it was just why couldn't you do it after all this and you still couldn't do it this you can see it on camila's face that she's done like she cannot handle these words right now but Ateri does not even care not to mention the fact that she's been hounded by the media every eye was on her she was damned if she did and damned if she don't because the entire world wanted a sense of justice so there's people who are now happy i mean johnny weir said thank god when she wasn't on the podium like there's a lot of people that feel like she basically ruined the olympics just by existing but it wasn't her it was terry Zuperite, daniel gleichenhaus and dudakov all those three and the system behind them have failed this child and they weren't even 
even by her side every time she was being hounded by the media. Like she was left to walk alone, not a coach in sight, because they probably know that the reporters have way more questions for them than they do for Valieva. And in the time that she needed just comfort and any kind of warmth, nothing, nothing. You see a Terry raise her hand, piss at the fact that she doesn't get a sweep. Daniel Glykenhaus laughing because Camila Valieva, you can see it that she knew that it was going to be a mess, whether she won or she didn't, whether she ended up on him, she didn't, because the first thing she said after she saw the scores was, well, at least now they're not going to cancel the medal ceremony. And then she broke down crying. Meanwhile, Daniil, who is literally holding this crying child, is laughing at her comment or saying something to a Terry I couldn't tell. But neither one of them felt like it was priority to be there for this kid when she just lost her biggest goal in life, which was probably going to get taken away regardless after the investigation is over. She's thankfully now home. She has gone back to Russia with Zhenia Medvedeva. Thank God, because I think being at this Olympics was very, very intense for her. And right now she just needs her mom, her family, somebody to care about her. And the sad thing is I feel like Camila will not leave a Terry at all. She will definitely not leave a Terry. Now I think she has even more fuel, more motivation to keep going. Not to mention she is definitely the biggest star of Team Dutbaritza right now. The biggest profile, the biggest popularity. She just hit a million followers. She has come home a hero. Everybody has told her the world is against her, that we support you. And even before the Olympics, they wanted her to win, so they were promoting her heavily in the media. But interestingly enough, I even saw that they did a magazine photo shoot with Anna Sherbakova. Just them two, no Trusova. So maybe there was something to Trusova's comments to a Terry saying, you knew. You knew all along. Who knows? But honestly, Camila, the way she was treated, the way she was berated by everyone, regardless of whether they were with or against her, is insane. In third place, we had Kaori Sakamoto, who just delivered two beautiful performances and was probably the only happy girl on that podium, if we're being honest. She was very emotional when both her short and free programs were delivered because she knew that she was doing something almost impossible a few months back. Like, this would have been unbelievable if you had told me that Kaori was going to be on the podium because it seemed so secure that the sweep was going to happen and the Valievo was going to be first. Like, <laughs> this is insane. Every single time, the favorite to win the Olympics doesn't freaking win. And it's, it's, I don't know how we're doing this and how this keeps happening, but it's definitely getting worse. And thankfully, Kaori, I think came to symbolize just hope at this Olympics, hope for all the people that saw figure skating through the lens of just a Terry Tutberitze. And Kaori broke that and showed that figure skating can be a fun, beautiful sport. And after they win, they can celebrate with their peers and hug each other. The way she ran to walk about with her flag was just so heartwarming. They were just a joy to watch, a much needed light in this darkness and craziness that was the end of this competition. The last 20 minutes felt like out of a disaster movie. But genuinely, Wakaba and Kaori were just adorable. You could tell how happy they were for each other. Kaori did cry, but it was happy tears. It was a drastic difference to... I, I don't even know if the three Russian girls interacted. They were all just crying in different corners. Well, Anna wasn't crying. She was just catatonic. But it was... It was insane. Let me let me stay focused on Kauri. Kauri definitely, for me, was the hero of this competition who managed to do the impossible while reminding us that figure skating doesn't have to be a traumatizing experience for children. It can be a beautiful sport. So Kauri did more than just get a bronze gold medal. She became a symbol of hope in my eyes. I knew I was doing something right calling her the light of my life. She's become the light of the figure skating world, especially at this competition. And now we need to talk about it. Second place. We have Alexandra Trusova, who was genuinely the most heartbreaking part of this entire competition. Seeing this girl unravel, because that's honestly the only way I can describe it. She was unraveling in front of her eyes. Seeing the hurt, the pain, the anger of her finally realizing that nobody at this camp cares about her. That they never have, they never will, that they never genuinely gave a shit. That's the only way I can put it. It was distressing to see. We saw a girl respond in an honest and raw way to trauma on international television, yelling for anyone to care, but only getting like stern side eye looks. It was, it was, I, I've never seen anything like this. I just, I don't know. And now they're like parading her around like everything's a-okay. Tuberita doesn't leave her side. This is the most PR shit I've ever seen. But going back to what we saw, who 
who can blame Trusova for genuinely believing she was going to get gold when her coaches and the judges have awarded her astronomically for every jump she does? Her technical elements have always been overscored in favor, completely forgetting her components. And even for her components, she is overscored. And she was told countless times that if she just landed the five cots, it was hers. Like, it was... I... <laughs> This was a kid who was just told this and rewarded in such a way that it's not crazy for her to think that she had the gold in her pocket because she did what she was told to do. And the coaches were definitely not looking out for her because if they really were looking out for her, they would have told her not to do the triple axel on the short, which she hasn't landed once this entire season. If she had made that a beautiful double axel, I think she would have actually had gold. If she would have done a few more component, artistic, performance related, like it was in the hands of the coaches to get this girl prepared for international judging at the Olympics and they didn't do it. So I do understand what she means when she says things like you all knew, like also they didn't even put her in the team event. She thought she was gonna be in the free of the team event and if she had been in the free of the team event, she would have gotten a gold medal, which we still don't even know if they're actually gonna get it because the investigation is still not over. But Trusova really was got the short end of the stick let's just say that and she says to herself she hasn't won a competition in three years so she thought this was gonna be her moment she thought this was gonna be the moment and it wasn't and she did everything everything she could sound familiar that's literally what Jenya said last Olympics. I did everything I could. And what was the terrorist response? No. <laughs> no, you didn't. But at least last time, because her fave girl didn't win, she was comforting enough and gave her a hug. This Olympics, it was, oh, oh my god. I just, you know what, let's walk through it. Camila gets off the ice. She is devastated. A Terry, first thing she says is, why did you give up? Why didn't you land that jump? Camila's face is pissed. She can't deal with this right now. And a Terry doesn't care. They get the scores. Camila sees the scores, she breaks down, says that at least now they can have the medal ceremony. She loses it because she realizes that even if she had won, it would have been a mess as well. She wouldn't have gotten a medal regardless. She literally covered her ears at one point, like that's the amount of trauma. Then the cameras follow Camila and this lady who we all thought was a volunteer was hugging her, but instead it was, I think it was some sort of broadcaster from Russia. And in the background, we see Trusova, who has left the room where she was with Anna Sherbakova when the scores came up, saying that she was in second, not first. And she probably was so angered and so just betrayed by all this that she walked outside to cry. And that's when Dudakov tries to approach her, and that's when she starts yelling. And I don't speak Russian, so don't quote me on all this, but from what I've gathered off Twitter, what she says was something to the effect of, everyone has a gold medal but me. I hate everyone. I hate the sport. I hate everything. I will never go on the ice. I hate all of this. I don't want to go. I'm not going to go, in reference to the medal ceremony. And then to a Terry personally, she said, I hate you. You knew everything. Like, this girl has dedicated her entire life to this one sport. It's now saying that she doesn't want to get on the ice ever. And yes, that was an emotional reaction. Yeah, we should not take, you know, her words as gospel. But still seeing the amount of betrayal, pain, and hurt that this child who's completely alone in this foreign country and has just had her dream ruined. It was, I, oh my god. It was insane. And you could see, like, it was a physical, visceral reaction. She had just tension all over her body. She was yelling. She was crying. The makeup did not help. The fact that she had this very heavy makeup made it all the more visible. Like, somebody should have stepped in. Durakov is the only human there who was trying to talk to her, trying to appease her, trying to manage her emotions. That's the other thing. Nobody was trying to comfort her. They were trying to manage her emotions. Camila didn't even get comforted by the coaches. She got comforted by a freaking broadcast woman who everybody thought was a volunteer. Like, these coaches suck. Danny G was out looking at the fucking sky. The only one who got hugs was Camila Oyeva, and there were complimentary customary hugs because she became Olympic champion, even though she didn't look it. She did. So Trudeva starts yelling. She's telling Dudukov to get off her. She's moving off. She's moving away. Camila's still being comforted by another woman who's not part of her team. Like, this is insane. And then the camera cuts to Anna Sherbakova, who doesn't even know what to do because right outside the door, Trusova is crying and screaming, yelling at the world. Sherbakova can hear everything, of course. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't want to celebrate. She doesn't want to react. She's very conscious that the camera is looking at her, so I believe she's trying to control anything she does. She keeps glancing at the camera and glancing at the ground. And she doesn't, she can't leave the room because Trusova is at the door. Sherbakova is still in the room. Kauri is trying to just live her Kauri life, get away from this entire mess. You can see her looking at the door because she hears, like, it's audible. I mean, while they're recording Anna, you can hear, still hear Trusova distressed. You can see Anna not knowing what to do. She's like still looking back at the door. And finally, she sits down alone, Olympic champion. 
end. Completely alone. Like, and if you cut back to the last Olympics, Terry was trying to console Genia. Alina was laughing, not being able to comprehend that she just became champion. But she was, she was alone, but she was laughing. She was happy about the fact that she won. Anna looks like she just is realizing how this was not the vision she had. She dreamed of it and this was not it. Mind you, Anna and Trusova are best friends. They're, they're besties. They're the only girls in Team Tutperitze who are besties. They decided to room together. Like that's how besties they are. And this is knowing that this is gonna basically break apart the relationship like it did for Genia and Alina, even though they were not besties, they were just friendly. But this is gonna definitely affect their relationship. It's, it, it's, <laughs> it adds another level of heartbreak that I can't deal with right now. But this image of the Olympic champion completely alone, no coaches, no friends, no no one in sight. Not even herself is smiling. Nobody wins. It shows you that in an environment like this, such a toxic environment, nobody fucking wins. Everybody's just drained and blinded by ambition that doesn't go anywhere. Because you're just breaking apart every relationship. You can't trust no one. Everyone is against you. People are using you. It's just, I think all three realized just the pawns that they became for the Federation, their team, anyone involved. And even yet, sitting down, she still glances at the door. Finally, Trusova comes back in the room and Sherbakova very quickly shuffles past her. She goes outside. Dulakov gives her what looks like a genuine hug. Anna is still walking around. She just keeps getting hugs from people from the Federation, getting congratulated, etc. Kaori is also getting hugs. She's crying out of happiness. She's just, I'm telling you, she's just a little pocket of sunshine. She finally remembers that she should be celebrating. She looks at the crowd, she gives them a little wave. And then it cuts to Trusova, whose makeup is even more running. She's still angry. She's still telling people she's not gonna go back on the ice, that you all knew this. And if you think about it, there is meaning to her words. If they really wanted Trusova to get a gold medal, they could have made it happen. Easiest way, putting her in the team event. But also telling her, yo, don't do the triple axel, and then adding more choreography. Anyone else notice that, again, Daniel Gleigenhaus favorite is the one that wins? Alina was his favorite. Anna's her favorite, like having the same choreographer does not work out well. Having all the three girls come from the same coaching team, it's just, it's a recipe for a disaster. I just didn't know this much disaster could fucking happen. But Trusva looks genuinely like, oh my god, just looking back on these again makes me stressed. Gauri's still crying. Again, they keep showing Anna, but you can still hear Trusva just distressed. <sighs> Dudakov is still there, still no other Gleikenhaus or Tuperitze. Kauri cleaning up her makeup as well. That was really cute. The only hug I ever saw Terry give was to Anna, the champion, who, mind you, they did not believe in Anna. They never were trying to push Anna. They were trying to push either Trusova or Camila. So the fact that Anna won is insane even for them. But you know what? Anna, they were already pushing her as one of the stars. They put her in that damn magazine spread with Valieva. Don't just think they're their coaches. They're also like their managers, their publishers, so they got two stars now, I guess? But it's insane because even though Anna Chabakova power of will is still alive and well, I mean, she pulled through when it mattered most, as she often does. She's now national champion of Russia three times over, plus Olympic champion. <laughs> Not only that, but the fact that she again wins and still nobody's talking about her, this is also a recurring theme. Like, if you look even at the YouTube views, both Camila and Trusova have already a million views not Anna. Like, why? I don't understand. Like, Anna always gets overlooked, this time with good reason, because what happened was crazy, but even before, the titles, the attention was on a Terry, never on Anna. Like, Anna has never been really a press darling, for lack of a better word. Also, a Terry's jacket, ugly, disgusting, tomato, tomato, tomato. It doesn't even fucking fit her well. It's ugly. Your arms are too damn long, lady, and you look like a bad Cruella de Vil mother gothel thing. Like, get off her, get a job, stay away from her. What the fuck? She is still walking around, like, on her phone, past people. Druso is still having a breakdown. And I don't know what the plan was, but, like, first... Eteri tries to get at Trusova herself, tries to grab her. Of course, Trusova doesn't let her because, again, she realizes that these people don't care about her. Like, ugh, it's insane. She's literally saying, you knew this, I hate you, get away from me, or like, don't touch me, or, or no, something like that. It's it's insane. And you can see Eteri's pissed. She's pissed, which is, I think, why they're trying to, like, fix everything by having them very close in these days. Like, they're gonna fix this. And the fact they're trying to 
crisis control by having them very friendly and posing pictures of them together smiling next to each other tells me that probably Trusova isn't locked in that contract and she's not going anywhere. I thought Trusova was definitely going to leave a Terry. I mean, we don't know. We don't know what Trusova's dad's going to do, but it seems right now they're trying to crisis control their relationship. This poor volunteer who tried to talk to Trusova, Trusova was just like, I don't speak English. <laughs> this poor volunteer. But this man from the Federation comes over to Trusova, grabs her, walks her to a Terry, like pushes her into a Terry's arms. A Terry tries to like grab her the way she talks to people. She always like grabs them really close and like talks to them like right in their ear. And Trusova rightfully is like, Niet, no, get away from me. You knew this. I hate you. I hate the sport. I hate everyone. I'm never going to skate again. Like this is a child in distress. She's alone. She's just talking to no one at this point. And what was so, so, so heartbreaking is that you can see her like shaking on the podium. All the questions in the, the press conference afterwards was just like, why are you crying? Why are you sad? They were just trying to get through so about to explain her own breakdown, <laughs> which was so fucked up. Like this girl just went through trauma and now you want her to talk about it five minutes later. One reporter says, has your attitude towards Terry changed? She's like, my attitude has not changed towards anyone. Everything is fine. What happened in the broadcast? She says, it's not my fault the cameras are following me. I asked to be allowed to leave. If you try to analyze what was missing, where were these four points lost? She lost by four points. I'm telling you, if she landed that triple axel, or like landed it as a double axel, she might have won. She said, I've had enough, I did everything. Reporter continues, but in general, are you upset or are you happy? She says, very happy in a sad voice. They say, if you take both the short program and the free program, are you completely satisfied with what you did? Trusova says, yes, and in the short and in the free, I did everything I could at that moment. I was satisfied with my skates, I was satisfied with my performances, I did all I could. And the fucking reporter says, then why are you crying? <laughs> like, who are you? She says, I just want to cry. I've been alone here for two weeks now without my mother, without my dog, so I'm crying. This is a kid. She just wants her mom and her dogs. She was always going around with a dog because they were emotional support animals, basically, to her. And now she's completely alone with people who don't give a shit about her. She's been gaslit. She's been manipulated. She's been told that the world was going to be her oyster if she just did this. She did it, and then she didn't get the one medal she was looking for. And the crazy part is that Trusova is not usually like this. Like, yes, she's very determined, but whenever she lost, which again, she hasn't won a major competition since she turned senior, she's always been she's always been upset by Kostornaya or Sherbakova. She hasn't reacted this way. She's just been like, oh well. But this time, this one time when she really, really needed it, she just didn't want it. She needed it. Of course she's gonna break down. Not to mention all the abuse, all the changes she's gone through. She went to Plushenko. She was punished for it by the judges. As soon as she came back, she got her retiree bonus again. And they told her, here's your retiree bonus. You're back where we need you, where we want you. You're back with the Terry. Now do your job. And she did it, and it still wasn't enough. Of course, she's going to fucking break down. Like, are you kidding me? This is a kid, 17-year-old, no parents, no dogs. <laughs> and she's, she's breaking down. Like, I'm breaking down for her. I don't know. Just seeing her shake on the podium... Her makeup running all over the place looking at Cherbakova. Who is her roommate? Like she reportedly did not want to leave. Of course she didn't want to leave because she had to go and share a room with Cherbakova who is her best friend but also the dream breaker who broke her dreams by four points. Like if we all thought the last Olympics was a shit show, this was beyond a shit show. I don't even know what to call it. And then we have of course Anna Cherbakova our Olympic champion who had a great short program, probably the best one, even though Camila was in the lead. And then an amazing free Sherbakova power of will. I don't know what to say. Sherbakova always pulls through. Like, I don't know what to say. She just, I don't know how there's no way that after this Olympics, a Terry won't be investigated. Like this is, I feel like the entire figure skating community is just pissed, is disgusted, is sad, is shocked by what we just saw. And we've allowed this environment to be created to fester and not just that but to grow and expand they're not just dominant they're a monopoly without team to there's really no russian ladies figure skating that can be that consistent and it's insane and just because they get results which the results are handed almost on a platter due to the Atari bonus it's shocking and it's scary and it's depressing because the community allowed this to happen the isu allowed this to happen the freaking olympic committee when they told the world that it was okay that the valieva could skate like at every turn that we could give them some sort of punishment we have it and you know what? Maybe this is what we needed so that Team Dutperitze will be looked at in different eyes. Like the judges cannot see that and still keep rewarding them like they have. But maybe nothing will change. I don't know. Sherbakova broke my heart because Sherbakova even said that she feels empty. Somebody asked 
Anna, what would you tell Sasha? Truso. Anna says, I would do that in private because we haven't really seen each other yet. Reporter says, were you surprised by her reaction? Anna says, I feel emotionally empty inside, nor insanely happy for myself, nor any other emotion for others. An Olympic champion, a girl who just completed her dream that she has dreamed about since she was six. She feels empty inside. They need therapy, they need help, they need somebody who will look out for them because right now they're just being used and abused. Jenya did post something on Instagram for every girl saying this is hard for me to write this post but I can't say no. Camila, I know how you feel. You may think this is the end but this is not the end. I sincerely wish you to stay longer in the sport. What you're experiencing now will be cured by time and close people nearby. Delete Instagram for a week and spend time with loved ones. There is still a lot of competition ahead. There is still a whole life ahead. Sasha, it was a great free program and you will still have gold medals. You will have everything you want. Many Olympic champions are jealous of what you can do. You're an incredibly gifted athlete. I have gold medals in my career, Sasha, but I can't repeat what you just did. Anna, you're a real fighter. I'm proud of you. At the right moment, you gave the right rental of your life. I'm telling you. She always pulled through at the right moment. It's insane. You're a very strong and a phenomenal athlete. You're an Olympic champion. Today is your day. Today is your parents' day. Congratulations to all your family. I can sincerely say nobody would have predicted this. What we witnessed was insanity. It must become some sort of HBO special or Netflix special. Like, this was insane. <laughs> like, I do not know how the fuck this is not gonna get picked up, at least for some sort of 2020 shit. Like, this was like true crime levels of ghastly and abomination like it, it was an abomination that is the word it was a freaking abomination rock bottom we've allowed it to happen three girls who the winner feels empty inside camila valiela was dragged through the press because of the actions of the adults who were supposed to put her in the right direction but instead gave her drugs then she doesn't even land at the podium because of so much pressure and then the silver medalist has such emotional distress that she's yelling out to the world that she hates everyone hates the sport and never wants to go out on the ice again and they're already trying to fix it by putting her next to a terry all the time smiling like it already feels like nothing's gonna change. That's the level of hopelessness and distress that I'm in right now. I, I just, I can't comprehend what I saw. Every time I look at those pictures, I wanna cry. And I don't feel like there's change coming, sadly. I did see some weird article that like even the FBI could get involved to investigate this. I don't know how that makes any sense. The only upside to this Olympics was one, Big Dwanjin. Love that. <laughs> Love it, the mascot. The fact that Alina and Jenya are now kind of like friends and are following each other on Instagram. Don't love that they were defending the Russian Olympic Committee that much, but love that their besties era is back again. And also the fact that Kaori had her moment. And I think that the skating around the world is on the up and up and Russia needs reform. <laughs> I really don't know how to end this. This was a mess. A complete utter mess. That's the only thing I can think of to say. A Terry should be ashamed of herself, but we all know that's not gonna happen. She's gonna get another skater, another junior. Adelia Petrosian is already ready, and this is gonna happen again. The next Olympics, they can't be worse than this. God, please no. <laughs> they just, they can't be. I think that's actually impossible. Like, they cannot be worse than this. I did not predict any of this. I don't think anyone could. And I hope, I really genuinely hope, that these girls find some sort of peace with what happened. That Truso was not haunted by this footage for the rest of her life. That Anna Sherbakova is proud of herself. That Camila Valieva doesn't give up on her dreams but also doesn't kill her body in order to attain them. I hope that Dean Tupiritz is fully investigated. I hope that Daniel Gleikenhaus fucking has nightmares for the rest of his freaking life. I hope that Terry Tupiritz is investigated by the proper agency that has to do it. And there is some sort of amendment or regulation over that camp because they cannot be trusted with closed doors. And that's all I gotta say. As always, shout out to Timothy, Natalia, Lee, Leslie, J -J 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 Jordan, Antonio, Mansaka, Maria, Melissa, Lauren, Katie, Karina, and yes, and Joan. You on? Did he leave me? Oh no, new person, Charlie. <laughs> I'm so confused. Was I never saying you want? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, baby. <laughs> I can't believe I was never shouting out you want. I'm so sorry. Well, you want and Charlie, welcome or welcome back. I am not sure. And a new, 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 because there was a surprise new VIP while I was editing. Shout out to another Jordan, but this one is not Jojo Jordan, it's Jordan Han Solo. <laughs> So shout out to you. Welcome to the circus. Welcome to the mess. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna end. Oh my god. If you want to support me, Twitter, merch, and Patreon are all down below. And as always, I'll talk to you guys sometime soon. Bye-bye.